Wes. We had some clearing overnight and this morning, then the clouds quickly returned to the area. And we have some clearing out there, more so off to our northwest, but still a very beautiful night. Just cold, 47 degrees. We only hit a high of about 51 degrees today. Tomorrow, maybe a couple of degrees warmer. Here's a look at the satellite imagery, and you can see where that distinct clearing line is. We could see it on the sky cam just prior to sunset this evening and it was beautiful. You could see sun off in the distance and then a good bit of cloud cover. And we'll likely at least have some clearing and all in all, it's still going to be a pretty cold night. So we dropped down to 40 this morning. And we have a lot of clouds in place and then we had some clearing again overnight, but the winds were still pretty strong. That kept us from uh, dipping down to the lower and mid 30s. But we're at 47 now. And by the morning, we're talking mid-30s, at least here in Baton Rouge, which means areas of frost very likely, especially along the 10 and 12 corridor, but north and east of Baton Rouge, more so southwest Mississippi, even potentially Kentwood near the state line. That's where we'll likely at least have a brief light freeze. So that's to take a proper care of your plants and of course your pets as well. Then we turn the page to our Thursday and we'll at least have some clearing temperatures by the afternoon, low and mid 50s, depending on how much sun we get tomorrow. May take a little bit of time, but if we get at least some sun, we may warm into the mid 50s. Now, tomorrow night, Friday morning, that's the night that we'll have to watch very carefully for a freeze. And so here in Baton Rouge, right about 30 degrees. And you see most areas at or below freezing. North and east of Baton Rouge, especially southwest Mississippi, could even uh, deal with a hard freeze. And so tonight, your pipes are going to be fine if you have a light freeze. Now, again, tomorrow night, Friday morning, we'll likely have uh, uh, fine conditions, so we won't have to worry about pipes except for southwest Mississippi. Again, we'll uh, watch that carefully and keep you guys posted. But Friday morning is going to be the coldest, and then we'll wake up to a couple of frosty mornings out there but then our temperatures are going to start to moderate, including our afternoon temperatures as well. Here's a look at the future track showing, again, that very distinct line of clouds, but they'll likely fill back in before maybe some gradual clearing into the day, except for the immediate coast where we have the best shot for at least a uh, isolated shower or two. Now, our next system moves in Friday, so clouds will return to the area, and then a couple of showers are looking possible Saturday. Saturday morning and maybe off and on through the day, but the best chance for that will be confined to the 10 and 12 corridor and points to the south as well. At least that's the current thinking. So if you have plans to go to the LSU game, 8 p.m. kickoff, it's going to be quite cold. Temperatures will be in the 40s by then and overnight in the 30s. Looking ahead to next week though, Thanksgiving week, temperatures in the mid and upper 60s to about 70 degrees 